I love my feet. <coughs> Trash. Hello, dear ramen fans. Guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna eat together. I have to sneeze. I'm a little bit sick, but that shall not stop us from eating some instant ramen today. Or actually, that is the reason why we should eat some instant ramen, because that's gonna make me healthy again. I'm pretty sure about that. So I saw this video of a uh, Malwanne, well that's a really German name, which basically means um, paint pot. <laughs> Painter? Mm -mm. She's a German YouTuber, her name is Vanessa. And she did this video about trying instant ramen. I was like, maybe I should do that too because I love instant ramen. And I've already tried a couple of ramen, but not all of them out there. We can be sure about that. So I went to my local, my local Asia store, grocery store, and I basically bought every single ramen or noodle, instant noodle meal you could find. And today we're gonna try them and we're gonna rate them. I just wanna eat now. Oh, that's spicy, that's spicy, that's spicy, that's spicy. Oh, just the taste of your spicy food will give me enough. Diarrhea. I got 10 instant ramen right here and one full. <laughs> they have to work on their packaging because this one does not look tasty at all. Well, I think that actually looks really tasty. The design looks like it's from 1984. But it's from Mama. Oh, okay. <laughs> we ate a lot of Mama noodles back when we were living in Hanover. Yum Yum is probably the most common instant noodle package you can find in Germany. You can find it in all the supermarkets, but literally almost only this. Stop! Just by the way, is it just a German thing to also eat them dry? When we were children, it was a thing buying Yum Yum from the kiosk. Corner shop! Corner shop! And uh, basically just opening the package, taking the spices, putting it in there, just like doing this and just crushing the, the noodles and then eating it like chips. I didn't even know that you could eat it like with water <laughs> and like egg. No! And egg. No! I didn't. That, me neither. That was <laughs> such a revelation. I always thought that was just like a snack. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, I was planning on trying it, but I just know what it tastes like and I really do not crave that or do, I don't even like it that much. Do you like Yum Yum? Can I snack it now? <laughs> yeah, I already know what this tastes like and honestly, I'm probably gonna give this like a 2 out of 10 broccolis. It's edible, it's fine, but it's just, you can snack it. So now that we got Yum Yum out of the way, we're gonna try Jin Ramen. It's from the brand Otogi. Is that Korean? Oh, it's Korean. I, I said it like it was Japanese. All right, let's try Jin Ramen. That was an amazing transition, hopefully. It's very sad, but we do not have any ramen bowls. We're gonna eat out of the pot today. So this is what it looks like. Um, you don't see anything. <laughs> Wow, wow, amazing. Mmm, Jin Ramen. Fun fact, I actually saw a video on YouTube of a guy pimping his ramen. And that's how I found out you could also eat ramen with coconut milk or normal milk and it just tastes better. I mean, depends if you like milk, I guess. And he used the Jin Ramen, which is in the trash right now. <laughs> it's a bit spicy. Oh, that's <laughs> a very spicy. I like it. It's a bit spicy, but I don't mind a bit of spice. I think this is actually really good. And I'm a bit hungry, so that's maybe why I really like it. <laughs> Luft nach oben, air to the top, which means there might be better ones out there. But I'll still rate this like a, maybe a six out of 10 broccolis. So the next one we're gonna try are these Mi Gureng Jumbo barbecue chicken flavor fried noodles from Indomie, which is, I think, 
what are you doing? Which is, I think, an Indonesian brand, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's definitely something different. It's not like a typical ramen with the ramen um, broth. Let's go. My soup sticks. So this is what the Indomie noodles look like. I um, forgot to put the dried vegetables in and I didn't put the chili sauce in because some certain someone doesn't really like spiciness in his noodles and I still want him to be able to eat something. So that's what happened here. I'm not gonna lie, I really like these. Um, we also ate them a lot of times, so. The last time I made them, I actually dropped them on the floor. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. You should eat these with like some vegetables, some spring onion, a little bit of a fried egg on top. Here. <laughs> I give these a 8 out of 10 broccolis because I just really, really like them and I think I could eat them every other day. Alright, the next ones we're gonna try are these. Onion flavor. They're just called onion flavor. I never tried these before and I have no idea if it's gonna taste like onion. Alright, onion flavor, let's go. Yay. So these are <laughs> the onion noodles and they smell kind of like onion. <laughs> mm. There's so many things wrong with this. We cook them for too long. There's nothing in my mouth. It's just matcha, smoochy smooch. <clears throat> it just doesn't taste good. I'm gonna love it. It's really tasteless and very mild. You're gonna love it. <laughs> love that they can see your head every time you get like this noodle. Okay, I'll give it a maybe one out of 10 broccolis for the onion ones. For one effort? Yeah, for it's edible. But also I gotta say it's kind of my fault because I cooked them for too long and they were really thin and I should have cooked them maybe just 50% of the time I actually cooked it. I think next it's time for these Samyang hot chicken flavor noodles. I just know that it looks really, really spicy, but it also maybe it's not that spicy. I feel like I got a bit better at eating spicy hot food. So maybe I can actually eat this. All right, let's get it. Not gonna lie, this looks so spicy. <laughs> it looks really yummy though. Mmm, damn, what a beautiful shot of noodles. Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, you don't even have to wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah. <laughs> How do people do the one chip challenge? Because this is already really bad for me. Maybe I might have underestimated this and myself. No, I overestimated mm -hmm. myself. I'm still alive, but I'm also kind of slowly dying. Nee, no. That's fine. No. <laughs> I got it, guys. I'm just gonna eat it one by one. Just one noodle at a time. Save that for later. Okay. Don't eat it all, okay? <laughs> I'll give it a, I think only a three out of 10 broccolis because I can't eat it, <laughs> I guess. What are the three for then? What Actually, it's not that bad, but my lips are burning. So it's like a hot three out of 10 broccolis. Next, we're gonna stay in the spicy departure and we're gonna try Shin Ramyeon Noodle. What? I mean, for me, it's spicy. It says gourmet spicy. Shin Ramyeon Go. <laughs> Eating spicy ramen is not good with the white top. I don't want to take it off my outfit today. Yeah, but the shirt is so cute because they can't even see what's on the back. They can. All right, this is the Shin Ramyun and uh, it's uh, this one by Nong Shin. My mouth is still burning from the Samyang noodles. Shouldn't have eaten both of the <laughs> spicy noodles right after one another. But I don't like the taste of it either. I don't know about it. I think I like the first one better, the gin ramen. I almost like the ramen broth better than the noodles. I think I don't like the noodles. Is that weird? I'll give these noodles like a four out of 10 broccolis because I still think it was very spicy. I mean, I ate it after the other ones and my mouth was still on fire. So maybe it's also my fault. And I'm sorry if I um, offend your shin ramen. 
So honestly, we still have some noodles here. Vincent basically ate all of the not spicy ones because he's been a good boy. I'm gonna try to eat the spicy ones with a lot of coconut milk and a lot of milk. And I think we're gonna film the rest tomorrow because we we just we're not capable of eating anymore and we don't want to throw it away. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, before I say goodbye, I actually bought some durian. So my story with durian, aka jackfruit. I've been seeing so many people on YouTube just doing a mukbang with durian. Durian? Who is that? That's the fruit. I'm just very interested in this fruit. Today I saw this frozen durian. I'm sorry if you're upset about it being frozen and not being like completely fresh. I feel like you really need to eat durian like completely fresh. Basically you just picked from the durian tree. Does it grow on trees? Are you ready? It's gonna be our dessert for today. Ooh. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because I'm afraid. No, you don't have to be afraid. It just smells like shit. <laughs> I get it. That literally smells like our trash. Oh, okay, then it's okay. It looks like tacos ramen. Just a little more yellow. Stop it! I mean, it's kind of a bit gross because it just defrosted. Oh, you're going in. I'm so close to being sick, but like, I'm still on the verge. It's very, very interesting. It kind of tastes like a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onion. <laughs> yeah, it has so many different flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting day. <laughs> it is the next day and it is lunchtime. I'm so glad I'm gonna eat some more instant ramen today. To fill our body with joy. Next, we're gonna try chapagetti. I really like chapagetti. Vincent and I, we've been stacking up on these noodles. It is a Korean black spaghetti with roasted chayang sauce. It's like a black bean sauce. And so do you want spaghetti for lunch? Why are you just sitting in my video like this? Because you're not gonna cut it in. Oh, you don't know anything about me. <laughs> Let's make some spaghetti. In case you're wondering what it looks like, this is just a powder and you just Mix it in and you mix it until everything is brown. And then I personally always add more salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, just a little bit of spices because uh, like this, I just think it tastes a bit too bland for me, but I just, I, it's just personal preference. But we need some more stuff, hang on. So I also got some radish leaves, uh, well, kimchi radish leaves. This is cut radish, so these are the leaves and this is cut radish. Oh, that's really good together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you wait. Okay, so apart from our little accident here, I definitely give Chapagetti a 9 out of 10 broccolis. Maybe it's something crunchy with it because it just gives it a little bit of a... Alright, it's time for the next one. I have Samyang noodles again. These ones are so gokimyeon. To be honest, they kind of look spicy again, but we just really like the cow. So gokimyeon! So this is what the cow ramyun looks like. And it looks really, really spicy and it smells so much like beef. Let's try this really, really spicy looking, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I think it could be a bit more tasteful, a bit more salty maybe, but it's, it's not too bad. I'd probably give it a cow out of 10 broccolis. Do you know that cows used to be my favorite animals? Yeah, and now you're vegetarian. We shall carry on. The next one we're gonna make is this veggie ramyun from Nongshim as well. It is gourmet mild, <laughs> but Vincent would say it's more like gourmet spicy. <laughs> I make this and I die. Bon appetit, let's go. 
Well, to be honest with you, this looks exactly like basically all of the other spicy ramen. <laughs> Nothing special to see here. Mm. Yeah, I really like this one. It really isn't that spicy today, I swear. Okay. I would definitely give these a 7 out of 10 broccolis. Solid. Love it. So next we're gonna try something I actually never tried and actually never even seen before, which is pho. It's a pho! It's a pho! To be honest with you, I think I didn't put enough water in there because you can barely see if there is even any water in there. Pho appetite. It tastes so sweet. Why does this taste like cinnamon? I don't even mind it. Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll give this faux a 6 out of 10. Because actually it's really good, but I'm just not that hungry anymore. Maybe it's even a 7 out of 10 broccoli. The more I eat, the better I like it. I'm so full now. I think I need an instant ramen break for like two weeks now. <laughs> I hope you guys liked uh, the German girl trying some instant ramen. Whenever you say instant, I always feel like you're saving some. Oh my god, that's such a cool name. That should be your YouTube instant name. Instant Yeah. <laughs> Tell me everything you know about instant ramen. Tell me instant ramen you really like so I can try it because I'm always ready for some new ramen to explore. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on Instagram. and the Naomi John on. Yeah. Are you on the toilet? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and eating with me, I guess. And I will see you in the next video.